hello guys welcome back to her youtube channel hmm. today is a very wonderful day as the popular yoruba comic actor known as Ijebu Olatayo Amokade is celebrating his birthday today. He has already stormed his Instagram page with a lot of pictures and a lot of videos to like celebrate himself and he has also wished himself a wonderful happy birthday also but before diving too far if you're watching our video for the very first time please and please I'd like you to kindly subscribe to our youtube channel like and comment in the comment section box below give us thumbs up showing that you love this video and most importantly click on the notification bell for more of videos on this our youtube channel okay people today is just a special day for the latayo amoka day you know what we're gonna be talking about some things in which we don't know about ijebu as it celebrates his birthday today now let's go go with me olatayo amokade popularly known as ijebu is a nigerian comic actor and movie producer who was born on may 5 1979 Tayo was born in Ilishan Remo in Ogun State and he had obtained a national diploma in mass communication at Ibadan Polytechnic. He is also known for his comic roles in most Yoruba movies, having been introduced into acting through Muiwa at Demola Authentic School of Drama. He also worked as a personal assistant to another comic actor, Olaniye Afonja, aka Sonyeri, before he came to limelight with the film Muniru and Ambali, produced by Tayo Amokade himself, written by Sonyeri and marketed by Adcast Production. Ever since then, he has been a sensation to watch, most especially for his movies like Oremeta, Wirekon, and Jugunu. The talented actor is married to his lovely wife, Okpayemi Kukwala, who he met back in campus, and they both have three children now presently. Olatayo is quite successful at what he does as he recently acquired a brand new car. Hey, like seriously, as the birthday is loading, he also had a brand new car to like match with and to celebrate himself alongside uh, his birthday. Hey. And there are so many things that we don't know about Ijebu in which he came out to like let people know that okay. Before he even came to the limelight, this was some things in which he went through and this was some things he, he experienced before becoming a actor or before becoming a legend in the Nollywood industry. And he said that in, in an interview with um, the Saturday Beat that the, this actor comic recalls some of the challenges that he encountered when he started out as an actor. He said that he faced different challenges when he first got into the industry and on the other hand he said he won't really call them challenges because one needs to undergo some form of training. He said when he was in Ibadan he trained at the Authentic School of Drama owned by actor and filmmaker Muiwa Demola. He trained him on camera movement, facing the crowd and other things. The training helped him a lot and one of the challenges he faced was having to buy food for people that he knew he was older than just because they got into the industry before him. He said on his Instagram live video recently that anybody coming to the industry has to be patient, focused and prayerful. One could spend 10 years in the industry without succeeding and one way spend only 6 months and people would like, would like him. You also need to be humble. And also, Ijabu on his relationship with his female fans, the Ogun State born actor said, It is good to marry a wife that was destined for one. He said his wife supports him a lot, a lot whenever he tells her he's going to or, or, or on his set. He know, she knows that he could it would be on a movie location. And on his Instagram live videos, fans tell him they love him, and different people say they want to know him better. He cannot fight them, he said and they are female fans and at the end of the day he can become good friends with them and also advise them he said it is not compulsory but he have to he have affairs with them but he can still be of help to one another in future talking about his parents Ijebu lost his father last year 
that was in 2020 uh, 2029 2019 i mean which was noted that he missed his advice he had that he missed his advice he, he advice and he usually advised him whenever he visited home and he would recite his praises a uh, poetry in which was known as um oriki he said when he was growing up they didn't speak the jebu dialect to him and he said his brother urged his parents to train him with pure yoruba but when god said it was time he had to start calling some of his friends who spoke the language so well and the dad also taught to taught him on how to speak the dialect well and he said that he really really missed his father as he poured out his mind to like in remembrance of his father my people don't forget just watch out as this birthday is gonna be a wonderful one don't forget to subscribe to be to our youtube channel like and comment thank you so much for watching our video thank you for dropping by bye for now